What's up y'all? Today we're gonna to be talking all about companion planting and why you should be utilizing it in your garden. Let's do this. Hey y'all, welcome back to The Homestead. My name is Dirk, and if you've never visited this channel before, it's all about educating and inspiring you so that you, your garden, and your homestead can thrive. All right, so first off, we're gonna define what is companion planting, and then I'm gonna be giving you three reasons why you need to be utilizing it. Make sure you stick around until the end because I'm gonna be giving you a little secret sauce to get more out of your garden from companion planting. So let's jump into it. So basically all companion planting is, is you are planting plants together that work in a symbiotic relationship to benefit one another. It's a greatly utilized method in your garden. And so let's talk about three reasons why you should be using it. Reason number one is companion planting helps confuse the pest cycle. I think this is one of the, the less talked about reasons for people to utilize companion planting. For example, here behind me, I've got a raised bed and we have lettuces planted. We have Swiss chard, we have kale, we have onions companion planted with them. And we've also got potatoes coming up um, from the ground. And so we have lots of different crops planted in this section however when you have different crops planted in one area instead of you planting let's say 10 rows of lettuce or 10 rows of kale what's going to happen is once pests figure out you know where that crop is growing and you have it all in one specific area then basically those pests don't really have to figure out where the rest of it is it's all there and so your pest pressure is going to be pretty immense However, when you have different things interplanted and you have crops spread out in different areas, then it basically confuses those pests and you have less pest pressure. So reason number two to companion plant is to increase yields. For example, we have several garden arch trellises in our garden and on one of them we'll be growing pole beans up. Now beans specifically fix nitrogen into the soil. And nitrogen is one of the main macronutrients that plants need in order to grow a lot of that green leafy material that you see. For example, lettuce is a heavy nitrogen feeder. It needs lots of nitrogen to grow all those amazing green leaves that we like to eat. So by planting the lettuce at the base of that pole bean, it fixes nitrogen, the bean does, so it feeds the lettuce. And the lettuce is then shading the soil at the base of that bean plant. So because of that, you don't have to water near as much because that lettuce is shading the soil at the base of the pole bean. There's many other examples of companion planting and ways you can go about it, but that's just one amazing reason you should be companion planting in your garden. If you're finding this content helpful so far and you want to see more of it, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Reason number three for companion planting is it helps you grow more food in the square footage that you have in your garden. Another example that we have is in this raised bed, again, we have all kinds of stuff growing, but we're growing onions in between the lettuces. And so if we were just growing lettuce there, all we'd end up with, with is lettuce. However, that lettuce has very shallow roots. And so you can grow those onions in between the heads of lettuce and you basically end up with double the harvest from a singular space like this raised bed behind me. Another way that you could leverage your space is, for example, we're growing tomatoes up a trellis. Well, at the base of that tomato plant, there's still a lot of space for planting things. And so it's a great space to plant some uh, peppers, maybe some tomatoes, uh, maybe some marigolds. And so I think one of the underutilized things in most people's gardens is they don't use all the space to its potential and they waste space. And so, I think companion planting is a huge asset to the garden and everyone should be utilizing it so that they can get more out of their garden so that they can be happy, healthy, and thrive. All right, y'all, so that's all I have today on this episode here on this channel. Look forward to seeing y'all on the next one. Happy growing.